Welcome back to Crave Cabin. Today we're going to be journeying into Reeves Wood. It's a forestry commission woodland here in East Sussex. So let's jump into the video. Right, so we're here at Reeves Wood and already we've got warnings here at the car park there's archery in progress and there's thinning of the conifers so, uh, got oliver hey oliver hi oliver hi oliver oh. <laughs> he's too embarrassed <laughs> so yeah we just do a few a video today me and oliver walking around he's tr trying on his new boots he's got these sexy combat boots he got for free and they are still brand new as well but he needs to wear them in a little bit so he's coming with me to do some walks to wear his boots in and to get out of the house isn't that right Oliver? <laughs> there he is so, Oliver, while I'm filming this video Oliver is 13 years old so he's at that age where I can embarrass him just by saying random stuff and videoing him just to <laughs> or scream at him while we're driving along to make him jump we're going to film some of the woodland now the dog walk has gone past nice gravel path here though to walk along We found it. No, put it back. Not a vandal. Nice little bit of wood. So all the Forestry Commission woods that we've been in all seem to have these nice paths to walk along but you catch them in the wrong part of the year and you're not allowed to go in them because they're doing um, tree trimming and coppicing but this one apparently has got archery in today I'm going to look this is quick. I'm back. So, let's see if we can talk to the archery people maybe on video. Oh, okay. Look, there's a sign there. Warning, keep out, Robin Hood. <laughs> this one's sadder than the tree. <laughs> Here's the evidence of all the cops and everything they've been doing. <laughs> Keep off. Okay. Rolling logs can okay. kill. Well, I want a log. So, I don't know if you can see down there, old Robin Hood getting out of his car. So we're going to pause it there, because we don't have his permission. And while we're this far back, you can't identify him. So we're going to stop the video here for a minute, just so we can go past we come back so we didn't end up talking to the the archery there's a big group of them all getting ready and sorting themselves out so we didn't interfere with what they were doing but Oliver was telling me about how when he went to a, a camp that he went to rising futures rising yes futures so, something futures <laughs> that they taught him some archery and he had to wear a glove and how they had to watch everyone and they had to but they needed a the toilet that had to be walked in and back out and everything like else <laughs> he says it's like a little prison everyone wanted to go home <laughs> all right so drooping sedge it's past its best and that's the stuff that wonderful Dora made some flour and made some awesome melt in your mouth brownies with 
and because it was made from sedge there's no gluten I didn't like you didn't like Doris brownies I actually did <coughs> I like soft gooey like brownies though. you like firmer brownies and I like that lady's brownies with the icing on top they're like vegan or something what, the ones that we had down at Art in the Park? No, um, with your Joe friend, Joe Walker. Oh, her, uh, yeah. Uh, when we went to Speckled Wood. Yeah. That's what I want as my birthday cake. I think I stole your hat that plays music. I it's not mine. I don't have a hat that plays music. Mine. I just wear a hat and my head plays my music. So this is another one of these woodlands that I've never been to. And we only stopped here because I noticed it on our way to another wood. <laughs> Let's see. I can hear dogs barking in the background. I hear planes overhead. But other than a little bit of noise, me jabbering on, it's quite a peaceful woodland. Oliver thinks it's going to rain. Don't know how much of that you can actually hear. Sounds like there's a couple of dogs having a fight. But it sounds like a little dog. I'm glad we're doing this wood before we have too much more rain because this would be dangerous to walk on wouldn't it? It's too slippery. Mud track. Mm -hmm. Hmm? Let's go down and look then. You know, it's something, let's go investigate, see what it is. But I've never been here, so I don't know. Go down and investigate and then we'll come back and we'll head up round that way. It's a bridge. It's a bridge. So let's go see. It's a weak bridge. A weak bridge. Danger, forestry work. No vehicle, vehicular access. You know, this is a strange thing to find in the middle of the woods. For these, these days anyway. I'm sure, back in the day, this used to be like a toll bridge or something. Don't drop your phone down. Mm. Should we go see if the troll's under the bridge, Oliver? Yeah. Let's go have a look. And there's a there's a pond or a lake just over there in the distance. Why are you trying to get that way, Oliver? 
I thought you was going to go all the way down. Being very, very tentative about walking down this mud path because the mud's very soft underfoot. What can you see, Oliver? The other side. <laughs> the other side. <laughs> very straightforward is Oliver. When you can get an answer out of him, it's very matter of fact. Here comes Oliver. It's only a tiny little bridge. It's not even worth I'm sure you can get over it with a horse or something back in the day but hey they put a bridge in Oliver's gone exploring into the woods just follow he's found a field Now I know it's getting colder here as we're filming this video. I really should have put my bug spray on because this standing water that's it attracts the the bugs that bite. Not necessarily mosquitoes, but the things we like to call midges and horse flies and all sorts. Oh down here. This is cuckoo pint. Lords and ladies, it does have loads of fabulous names and it is a poisonous plant for animals and humans but they used to use it to starch the ruffles. If you ever seen a picture of um, like people in Shakespearean times, the, the ruffles around the neck, they used to use lords and ladies to starch their ruffles. You're going up a tree, are you, Oliver? Right. See, it's nice to have your kids actually being kids instead of being stuck on their phones. And I don't, I don't miss the irony that I'm using my phone to film this. <laughs> Where are Very cautious is Oliver. He knows where his limits are. But yet to discover that ah. certain plants are prickly no matter where you touch them. <laughs> okay. You alright there Oliver? I'm fine. You sure? Yeah. You can come back down? There we go. And I want to thank all the people that subscribe to the channel. We have made it to 1,000 subscribers about six times in the last week since I filmed this video. And 
YouTube keeps taking them away and adding some back on. I'm hoping it stops fluctuating soon and stays above the 1,000 because then I can do a 1,000 subscribers giveaway. Oliver wants all. <laughs> well, I'm gonna try and get some more prizes. I'm gonna do a, a Craze Cabin t shirt. You're giving away your hat. I'm not giving away my hat. I love my hat. I'm not giving away my stick neither. <laughs> I'm gonna give away a, a Craze Cabin t shirt. One copy of each of my books that's signed. And when they arrive, some more stickers and maybe some other little stuff, if I can get some other stuff. But that's what I've got planned at the moment. And I am planning on getting some more stuff to give away as well. So come back over the bridge, we're gonna head up this way. We literally only went to the bridge to be nosy. But we're trying to make a circular walk doesn't take too long roughly about an hour an hour and a half at my pace so that when we bring other people we can take a couple of hours at a slower pace snake yeah now, we have come across a snake before. The first time I've ever come across a snake in the wild. And it just so happened to be the only poisonous or venomous snake we have in this country, in the wild. It was a adder, which is a type of viper. Kick it. <laughs> and the only way to tell the difference between that and the grass snake of the same size is the black diamonds on its back but yeah they like to come and bask out in the sunshine on paths similar to this but it's too cold for them now I, I would have thought Apparently this year we're going to be having what's known as an Indian summer where it stays hotter later in the year. And we're already in October almost. Still, sep Still September. For, September. Yeah, so we've got like another week until October. And 4th of September. Yeah, we've got like another week until October. By the time this video goes live, it should only be a couple of days until October. Then we've got all the fun of Halloween to look forward to. So, we're going to do some pumpkin carving. <coughs> pumpkin carving. Pumpkin. Let's see if we can make some pumpkin pie because it'd be the first time I've ever made it. Out of your pumpkin that you grow. And we yeah, we harvest the seeds from them pumpkins and add them to our seed bank. If you find any acorns, Oliver, can you pick them up because I'm going to make some acorn coffee. Come round to the right because I'm trying to make it into a circular. But look how beautiful that is. Buzzards. I just saw buzzards flying. See, I'd love to live here. A little homestead like much of you guys in America have or in Canada 
so a lot of you guys that I subscribe to that I've been subscribed to for a while I know it's a lot of work and upkeep to have a homestead but I would love to have a little homestead here in the UK but <laughs> maybe one day Oliver's just pushed me because I nearly stepped in what we call a landmine it's some dog owner that didn't pick up after themselves because there's supposedly strict laws in this country that if you're a dog owner it doesn't matter if you're in the woods or wherever you are you have to pick up after your dog or there's a minimum of a thousand pound fine or something like that Yeah. <laughs> All of us worried at the birds we can hear calling in the in the distance are gonna swoop down and pick him up and kidnap him. <laughs> Fortunately Oliver we don't have massive birds like that here that could pick up a human. One of the buzzards are making Sort of like a generic filmmaker eagle noise. I want a baby goat. You want a goat? I want goats and chickens, but only when I have a homestead. I just want one. While we're walking, I'm trying to look for little things I can do with our group. Uh, on Wednesday well I would have done it by the time this video goes live um, I'm going down to a place called Art in the Park you might have heard me mention it before on the live videos during the men's walk because um, they do a well-being Wednesdays and we're going to have our little stall down there and I'm going to show them guys how to make hawthorn ketchup and I'm going to and I'm gonna do my uh, acorn coffee and let them try that and some do something with rose hips. I'm not quite sure what yet. I'm not making itching powder because that's mean. <laughs> but the rose hips that we've collected are from a dog rose. And there's two different types of rose hips that I found are the ones from the dog rose, which are more oval shaped, and the ones from uh, Ragoza, which are slightly tomato looking with spindly legs on the bottom. I've tried to roll the bracken here slightly. The only tracks I've seen have been from dogs and horses. Not seen any other. Oh no, that might be a dog though. I think that was just a deer track I've walked past. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. I'm going to go up. I think we've been on this video long enough. We're going to head back to the car. Thank you for coming with us to Reeves Wood. Stay safe. We'll see you later.